What's up, world? It is Sunday, November 24th, 2019. Right now, I am looking at an article from newspunch.com, formerly known as yournewswire.com. And as you can see, the title of this article is Walmart Selling Children's Book of Demons for Parents Who Want Kids to Summon the Devil. Yes, you heard that correctly. Um, this article is from November 22nd, 2019. I'm going to go ahead and read from another article from BreakingIsraelNews.com. For parents looking to introduce their kids to devil worship, Walmart and Amazon are now selling a new children's book entitled A Children's Book of Demons. In the About section, the publishers tried to turn the act of summoning demons into a kid-friendly activity, saying, Summoning demons has never been so much fun. The site categorizes the book as a playful guide to conjure demons to communicate with the spirit. The children's product is listed for children ages 5 to 10 and inspires kids to create demons of their own. The book is a sort of coloring book whereby kids can draw demons using a system of sigils. As the publisher's weekly text reads, Layton, which is the author of the book, his name is Aaron Layton, integrates a hands-on craft element into this playful guide that invites readers to conjure gentle demons by writing their sigils which serve as a phone number straight to the spirit. The demons necessitate specific summons. A Riddler named Corydon requires a sigil drawn in bright red, the color of a clown's nose, preferably while you're giggling, and express specific characteristics and abilities that range from pragmatic to gross. They include Flatulus, whose talent is passing gas, Quasitoro, an expert at finding missing objects, and Spanglox, the best dressed demon in the underworld, who offers cutting edge fashion advice. Layton's renderings of the multi eyed, multi armed, sharp toothed demons are outlandish without being creepy, and the creative concept will likely inspire some readers to create demons of their own. On Walmart's site, the book is placed in a category called Paranormal cult and supernatural kids books it is listed at nine dollars and 88 cents per copy this next article is from let me just get it right the new american.com uh, i'm just gonna skim through this really quick as you can see i highlighted a few things um for the places so far where the book is sold this barnes and noble Walmart, Target, and Amazon. Barnes & Noble's poorly punctuated overview of a children's book of demons states, Don't want to take out the trash tonight? Maybe you're swimming in homework? Perhaps that big bully is being a real drag? Well, grab your colored pencils and sigil drawing skills and dial up some demons. But be careful, even if these spirits are more silly than scary, there are still demons. So I just wanted to share this with everyone. Um, I know quite a few channels have already covered this, um, but for those who have not seen it, just want to make you aware. So everyone take care. God bless. If I were the devil, if I were the devil, if I were the Prince of Darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree, the. So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve, do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. 
and the old I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing, I'd have judges promoting pornography, Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious what'll you bet I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich I would caution against extremes in hard work in patriotism in moral conduct I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned that swinging is more fun that what you see on TV is the way to be and thus I could undress you in public and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. 